Kentucky's ugly 45-7 loss to Mississippi State left a lot of angry fans, players, and coaches. Frustrations boiled over after the game in the locker room, and recruiting coordinator Vince Morrow's anger even made its way into Mark Stoops' press conference. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, like I, like I told you in the opening, uh, you know, you, you got to man up, watch the film and see all areas that uh, everybody can improve. Everybody accepts their, their share of the responsibility. And uh, you win as a team, you lose as a team. You, you always try to get better, whether you win or lose. And, uh, you know, there's, there's, it's not okay to play like that. And uh, we got to put it together and go play. So, so. Well, I think we, you know, we, we, we got to, um, you know, you got to get, get better, you know, and uh, uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted right here. Go, 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 you know. go out there, Slex. <laughs> so, uh, you know, like I just told the team, you know, there, there's, you, 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 there's nowhere to run again. You, you accept it. It is what it is. You know, and when you're in the arena, you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. Nobody likes to lose. Well, Vince Morrow, not the only one unhappy. Wide receiver Blake Bone, who scored UK's only touchdown on a lucky bounce from a Steven Johnson fumble, voiced his opinion on what the offense should be doing after the game on Snapchat. Interestingly enough, his seatmate on the bus, Steven Johnson. Yeah, saying no, I feel like if we threw the rock, we would be unstoppable. You know, but we don't. You know. Yeah, saying no, I feel like if we threw the rock. Well, moving on to golf now, the final round of the inaugural CJ Cup at Nine Bridges in South Korea. 2017 FedEx Cup champion Justin Thomas entered the final round, tied for the lead after shooting a two under par 70 in the third round. Thomas on the par for 10th after a perfect drive has just a lob wedge into the green, sticks it close. He would tap that in for birdie to take sole possession of the lead at nine under par. It would go to a playoff, and after two holes, it was Thomas taking home top prize, beating Mark Leishman with a birdie on the second try on 18. Thomas takes home an estimated $1.6 in prize money. Well, tonight it's a rematch of the Super Bowl between the Atlanta Falcons and New England Patriots, but Julio Jones knows this is a new season and the team has a brand new chance to prove themselves. You lost a couple of games mm -hmm. with comebacks and what happened in the Super Bowl. Where, where is this team's confidence right now? The thing with, 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 with the Atlanta Falcons, though, we don't worry about external factors. We don't worry about predictions. We don't worry about, you know, people assuming you should be here, should be there or whatever, you know, because everybody, you know, is stuck on last year, oh, y'all was a Super Bowl contender, you was in the Super Bowl, this and that. This is 2017 Atlanta Falcons. We have to prove ourselves this year. That game will kick off at 8.30 right here on NBC. We'll have more LAX 18 news after this.